the realm of a child you don't have authority over demons you don't have authority over sickness you don't have authority over nothing you will pray for the sick they will die you will go to cast out demons they will pound on you and deal with you if you are not careful they will remove some of your teeth and leave it with you as a badge that you dead what you didn't know about <laughs> those days we went to pray for a demon possessed and the most giant person among us he thought it was about size <laughs> they didn't know spirits the league of spirits <laughs> there are some spirits that their name is strength they can be like this they will jack you up and you'll be wondering where is the power no it's another dimension so by it to your dimension when the guy we came we were commanding the lady the lady was laughing <laughs> you 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 know demons know those who have authority he said Paul I know Jesus I know who are you it's not just to come and say I have the name of Jesus they will say we know Jesus we know Paul we know evangelist Uche. who are you <laughs> we shouted we now began to speak in tongues we wanted to charge our spirit no matter how you charge yourself if you are a child you are a child imagine if children with pampas now gather themselves and go to the road and say we know go agree the governor must resign they will say carry them from the road quickly before <laughs> so that's what many people do a rebellious person who is at the realm of a child will jump out and say Shaba, kaba, kaba, edaba, 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 edaba. I say, in the name of Jesus, the demon now do like this. You now come up with pride again because for you it's a show. Ah, we have dealt with the demon. Meanwhile, a man who has grown is having compassion. When the child comes, he wants to do a show. When the demon now lies and say, Ah, now I'm spot him. We don't finish the work. As it's going, then he hears, Ha 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 ha. That's where you know you are still wearing pampas. When we showed up, we surrounded the lady, formed a garrison around her. Mama, Kela Kataka. When we finished praying in tongues, that guy stepped up and said, In the name of Jesus, the lady wiped him a slap. The guy, to prove that the guy is truly a babe, he now said, What? You slap me? He laughed. You know what he did? He just proved the realm where he operates from. The realm of anger. It's a baby realm. You slap me, he slapped the lady back. And that was how we stopped our deliverance campaign and went home. Because when the lady slapped him, he got angry. When he slapped the lady, the lady started laughing. <laughs> because what the devil did was he brought him to his own realm. You are a baby. We knew that we were defeated. We left. If you are still functioning in rebellion, you are a child. You need to come up here. If you are functioning in ignorance, you are a child. You need to come up here. Forget the title you are bearing. It's a joke. The reason we have problem today and the church is attracting ridicule is because there are many babes with pampas on the altar. When they are giving offering, they are thinking of what to buy. So the guy collects seed for crusade. The next thing he has an iPhone. No body for the kingdom. The money he has not spent on the kingdom, he's spending on himself. So he merchandises the house of God and he reaps and rapes the resources of God and the house of God for his own gratification. Is a child. He can preach an accurate gospel. He's a child. Because in the realm of the spirit, it's not what you talk about. It's who you are, where you are walking from, and the authority you can command. The way to ascend 
from the realm of the child is to field on the word of God. No prophecy can take you from the realm of a child. If you like, receive prophecies and impartation for five years, you will remain a baby. Things around you can increase. Your account can increase. Your cars can increase. Your houses can increase. But you will become a better agent of the devil. Because you will remain a child. The only thing that has the power to take you from the realm of a child to the next height in the spirit is the word of God. You don't know it, you will be a babe. And you'll either be in rebellion or in ignorance or in obedience. But when you are fed on the word of God, a point came comes when something happens. You now leap from the realm of a child. You come to the realm of sons. Sons are kingdom agents that establishes government. And there are few things I want to tell you about sons. Few things. Please it. The first thing I want to tell you about sons is that sons bear the image of their father and they walk in his likeness. So they know the mind of their father. They do the will of their father. That's who they are. A son is not a son just by birth or by title. You can be born male or you'll be a child. So in spiritual equation, a son is not a gender sensitive reality. It's a maturity sensitive reality. If you study the Bible in Greek, you understand it better. There is a word called Nepius. There's a word called Techno. And there's a word called Hues. In Nepius, is one who does not have understanding he may have been in the kingdom for 40 years but he doesn't have understanding that's the one referred to in galatians 4 1. the heir so long as he's a nepius is not different from a servant in romans chapter 8 verse 16 he said the spirit of god beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children is technon we are the technons of god what it means is that to be born of god like an offspring but in Romans 8 14 it said they that are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons they are the heroes of God these ones have come into maturity they can handle kingdom and establish government so when a man does not come into the level of sonship he has not ascended but there are three things that brings you to the realm of sons ascension from the realm of condemnation to the realm of a child is to believe and confess Jesus ascension from the realm of a child to the realm of a son is to receive the word of God ascension from the realm of a son forward one is to be led by the Spirit of God sons don't function by reasoning or by their senses I know a we work better but the Holy Ghost says be so if you have not even come to a level where you can hear the voice of God and follow him, you can't even walk in the realm of sonship. Because sons are led by the spirit. They don't live their life based on assumption. They know what it takes to be regulated by the Holy Spirit. And to come to a point where you are led by the Holy Spirit, it will take labor in the spirit. This is where we begin to deploy kingdom infrastructures that mortifies the flesh. In Romans chapter 9 verse 26, Paul said, I beat my body and I bring it under subjection. So what Paul is trying to do is to silence the voice of the flesh. So many times when you want to begin the journey of sonship, it may take hours and hours of prayers behind closed doors. Because what you are trying to do is that you are bringing your body under subjection. You start praying for five minutes and suddenly many thoughts begin to fly through your mind. If you are a child, you will stand up and go and attend to those things. But when you are a son, you will know that for the Holy Ghost to take over, the flesh must be silenced. The flesh must be mortified. So even though it is hard to pray, a son will kneel down there until his knees become like the knee of a camel. Because what he's trying to do is beating his body. 
his body speaks too loud that he cannot hear the holy spirit so when he goes to prayer suddenly the body makes him feel that come on you have been here for too long will you be here forever go out and have some fun then children will open the door and they'll come and look outside does he want to rain like this weather today okay no problem and then he will carry his phone and begin whatsapp and he will do whatsapp for four hours he did prayers for 30 minutes a child will want to pray and then after a while he begins to feel unrest in his body he will just stand up go to the kitchen open the pot close it go and open the fridge what is in this fridge you will close it he will open the window close it and then you go and lie down kind of boy knows you he will carry facebook and he will be on facebook for six hours the time that he should spend in the spirit that's the time he spends on earth and so he will remain of earth but the bible said in first corinthians chapter 15 from verse 47 he said the first man is of the earth so earthy he said the second man is of the spirit and is of heaven so he's heavenly he said the same way we have born the image of the earthly man we should also bear the image of the heavenly man so when i go into the spirit to do business in the spirit and my senses want to draw me into the flesh i will mortify the senses i will beat my body and i will keep it there when i train my body after a while my body will begin to sense the movements of the spirit that's the journey of sonship i kneel down to pray and it looks as if i can't pray for two hours and then i keep at it i'm not talking congregational prayer where children come to do some assault in the auditorium and say they are praying they distract themselves you know they are children you know, we come for ministers meeting and see how we pray we don't pray and lift tears up we don't pray and ten of us are lying on ourselves we didn't come to distract ourselves we came to commune so when ministers are praying sometimes you just step aside the person praying in tongues there may be too loud and you find your place and you face the wall and you are talking to god for four hours because your goal is heaven not activity so i'm not talking congregational prayer where you come and all of you are doing <laughs> are you doing juggling are you going for olympics i'm not talking fleshly displays for children and the way you will know come there they will pray for one year you will still find backbiting you will still find malice you will still find immorality because it didn't touch them it was a display of flesh so the guy who carries the microphone wants to pull down the beauty because that time they are streaming it on facebook but the moment he drops the mic he goes and sit down and sleeps his goal was not prayer his goal was a show when they know that the cameraman is coming close <laughs> <laughs> at best you will receive a reputation that you are people of prayer but you will not have authority in the spirit at best men will clap and say these people are praying praying people you will not have authority in the spirit it's a show in the flesh that's not what i'm talking about jesus said when you want to do re prayer he said shut the door shut the door shut the door and come and dig into the waters of eternal life that's where you pray many people in congregation they can stand for 10 hours because they have a reputation that they are praying horses they are must hang so they can't sit down because some of the sisters are not be sitting down because of that reputation they will walk like a spiritual man for 10 hours is his will he's exercising not his spirit he's training his will not his spirit but when you want to do sincere real business the first thing your prayer in part is your flesh when you truly begin to pray you'll forget who is around you when you truly begin to pray it will attack your ego it will attack your pride it will attack everything that makes you feel you have reputation you have started the business of prayer because until the flesh becomes quiet the holy ghost can be powerful so what sons do is that they they make it a prerogative to live in the spirit and one of the ways to do it is to beat their senses and bring it under subjection on the altar of prayer that's why he said when jesus prayed 
he was changed the fashion of his countenance was altered when he prayed he was changed because prayer will decimate the flesh so you can't be a son until you are led of the spirit when you want to take decisions and 90 percent of the decision come from your mind you are a child you have not yet been led of the spirit and i know many people even important destiny decisions they make it on the strength of assumptions or at best counsels and recommendations from others they have never known the spirit they never walk with the spirit they say a lot of things but you see them being deceived every day the reason somebody can come and deceive you is because you don't know the movement of the holy spirit when somebody is talking even if he's calling the name of jesus if you have a rich relationship with the holy spirit you will know that this is not christ talking this is a serpent but many are not sons because they are not learned by the spirit so one of the things that make you ascend in the realm of sonship is the perpetual leadership of the holy spirit and you will labor to get there it's not a gift it's not a token is something you step into by deliberate sacrifice come up hither is a journey with the holy spirit number two it is the capacity to focus and constantly behold he said we all with open faces beholding us in a glass second corinthians 3 18 we are meta more first we are changed change is not a product of advice change is a product of beholding and the inner works of the holy spirit that's why you will advise your children threatening them the moment they leave your environment they begin to do what they want because you are not exposing them to beholding but the devil knows the strategy everything they see is showing them a picture you you are laboring with advice threatening them and telling them stories but when they carry their phone they see a naked woman when they go out to buy a razor blade even the advertisement of razor blade carries a naked woman what role does a naked woman's picture have to do with the advert of razor blade because demons know the laws of the spiritual if they keep beholding they will become so instead of you bringing them to a place of beholding you are threatening them telling them exaggerated stories of how sister Martha, the first time she went to have sex she she she, she died or she became pregnant and when she wanted to abort her womb was removed she will know all those stories but the day she enters campus two weeks later she'll be disflowered because the story will not have the power to change her it is the things she have seen and heard that we make her become so if we don't behold we cannot graduate in the realm of sonship so one thing sons do is that they constantly behold the image of christ so they are not just fooling themselves with the word of god anymore they are looking at the word of god because they want to find jesus so a child can recite scriptures put scriptures in the spirit that's good but a son is not carried away by the volume of scripture he is carried away by the depth he has in scripture so a son can sit on a verse of scripture for one year a child can be gathering 30 scripture that's good at that level but a son is not interested because a son knows that every scripture is a gate every scripture is a portal into a place a thing or a reality because the scriptures are not words the scriptures are spirits so they are places there are scriptures you begin to look upon and you will appear somewhere in the spirit because the scriptures are places the scriptures are things there are scriptures you will look upon and you will bet a dimension because those things were encapsulated in those words that's why a man can sit on the scripture after a while the rod of healing comes out i read about the priest you are killing me he sat on acts 10 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil because god was with him he was hearing because god was with him because god was with him that was what stood up in that scripture because god was with him because god was with him because and because god was with him became a trumpet until his 
ears almost broke. He was hearing that thing so loud that he almost destroyed his eardrum. One scripture, and suddenly, because God was with him, 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 because God, and suddenly he exploded. God is with me. And when he entered the healing meeting, everybody was on the floor. Cancers were falling. Blind eyes were open because that's a reality. A son does not recite many scripture. A son journeys into scripture because the goal is to behold. I want to find out what is the dimension of Christ that is locked in this scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. What dimension is kept here? Because I know this is a journey. What is hid in this scripture? And then he begins to exploit like an astronaut exploring space. And he opens that scripture. He opens it. He opens it. Until suddenly he steps into the love of the father. Because it's not about the story. It's about the dimension that is kept there. Many children can't do that labor. That's why it says to honor them doubly. That labor in word and in doctrine. Because it's a sacrifice. But sons pay that price. There are many people who are prophets. They don't pay that price. That's why they can't showcase any reality. They don't carry anything. The dimensions of God and the excellencies of his spirit. They are locked in scriptures. They are hid there. Only men who can exploit will find it. And when you look, you look, you look, a point will come when that dimension will come out. And you will see it and you will become what you have seen. Dr. Paul said, I am a weapon. Because he didn't just read, I am God's part to ask. He looked at it until suddenly he saw the weapon that came out. He knows the one he is. Because some men are spears. Others are bows, others are machine guns, others are explosive. If Rehab Bunker come into your city, the whole city will explode. He's not an arrow, he's a bomb. <laughs> he's a bomb. He saw it in the spirit, and he said his goal is to depopulate hell. So he stopped, he wasn't even doing business with God. He came into the world to do business with devil. He says, It's me and you. We will see who we take more souls from this world. I don't need to bring God into this matter. I'm enough for you. I'm not calling the name of God into this matter. I will depopulate hell. Me, I will depopulate hell. Because when I found myself in the spirit, I'm, I'm an explosive. So when he enters Lagos, 12 million people can, can gather. There is no publicity that gathers 12 million people. Except as a bomb exploded. And sometimes, even herbalists, they shut down their, their shrine. Some run from their shrine because an unknown fire sets the shrine on fire. And your shrine is burning. Why are you running to a crusade ground? Because you saw the bomb. You saw when it exploded. Meanwhile, there are some that are spares. Those ones are for fight. The Bible said that they are the son of Dodo. They can, they can fight for money tonight. They will be slain. The more they slay, the more their elements come alive. That's who they are. But they found it in scripture. Because we all with open faces, beholding as in a glass, the image of the Lord, we are changed. So sons have a walk of beholding. The guy can carry one scripture for two weeks. And he's just talking that scripture. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed Jesus a point will come he will meditate on that scripture until literal oil will begin to drip from his hand and then he tells you oil is dripping from my hand you say it's a lie ah all these people they sweat you don't know what you are saying if you journey into that scripture you will discover that there is anointing there and when you touch it it will crystallize on your body you want to ascend don't think you will come to a conference and receive impartation you will remain a child until the word of God comes to life in your spirit. You will remain a, a child unless you migrate by the word into the realm of sonship. Where the Holy Ghost can rule you. Where you will begin to behold. At best what will happen to you when I pray is that the scriptures will come alive. So a scripture that you should look at for two weeks. You can see it for 30 minutes and you begin to see what men don't see. And suddenly... You will know 
why the first Adam was able to rule the galaxies and like Joshua you too can come and say son stand Ray, stop and somebody will look at you and say this man have the gift of faith it's not ju just the gift of faith you have journeyed to a place and you have seen the mystery of commanding the cosmos you have seen the mystery you will step into a place and you will understand the secrets of prayer there is something about prayer and as you sit there after a while the prayer itself will begin to teach you and suddenly it will tell you 6 a.m. in the morning just begin to pray and suddenly you are praying and you are praying and you are praying and without planning the word just come out of your mouth what God cannot do does not exist and suddenly a whole generation begins to talk about it what God cannot do does not exist Lord God meanwhile there are many people doing early morning prayer and some have started now but there is one man that found the mystery of the rising of the sun and by prayer he looked upon something and when he starts praying that prayer a whole city can come there in the morning 50,000 people can wake up just to participate in that prayer he may do another meeting he won't find 10,000 there but at that hour there was something that he received there's a mantle over the morning and so when that man talks in the morning he is like the sun he can push darkness backward because he has received the scepter the reason is because we all with open faces beholding as in a glass does he not do you know does he not marvel you that the same person can organize a program by 6 to 8 a.m and 50,000 are watching and he organizes a program on the same channel by 6 p.m and they are not up to 10,000 because there is a mystery he caught about the morning we all with open faces this is how we establish government beholding as in the glass the image of the Lord you want to come up here you must see something you can never come up until you see something or until you hear something